Arrêtez au coin, s'il vous plaît. Mr. Funny. Yes, monsieur. Uh, can I speak to you for a moment? Well, I've been studying painting with you for some time now. Do you think it's worth my while to go on? Why do you ask? Well, I feel there's no sense in my staying here unless I have talent. If you are not certain about your talent, why did you stay until now? Because all this is so, so beautiful to me. In my youth, it was all so beautiful to me. But now, it is the city of lost illusions. Is your studio very far? No, not very. Let us go there. You will show me what you have done. Yes. Have you any money? A little. Not enough to live on. Then I must tell you, there is no talent here, merely industry and intelligence. You will never be anything but mediocre, and it is very cruel to discover one's mediocrity only when it is too late. I know. Do you see that? That name does not belong there. It belongs somewhere else. Take your courage in both your hands and make something of your life. Have you anything in mind? Well, you see, um, I have my limitations. My father was a doctor. I've always been interested in medicine. And if one can't be great, at least one can be of, of some use to people. such a thing upon my word I don't I've never had a day's illness in my life you look at me to know that it's what we call a winter cough a great many middle-aged women have it well I never that's a nice thing to say to a lady no one's ever called me middle-aged before oh it's time you got used to it all the same you're a nice one dearie unfortunately I can't say the same for you good day madam that'll be all now the rest you come back tomorrow uh, get him ready all right sir You the boy's father? Yes, sir. What's the matter with you now? You see well enough what the matter is. The boy has a club foot. Oh, uh... Carrie, you better take this case. It's a subject you ought to know something about. It's only for the looks of the thing, you know. I don't find it no trouble. Don't you? That's wonderful. I always did. Oh, that's because you let them go on at you. You seem to be a little slow, Carrie. I think I'll have to instruct the class. There are many varieties of club feet. This is one of the less interesting. Yours would probably prove more interesting. You have Telepi's Aquinas, haven't you? Yes, I believe so. Don't mind taking off a sock, do you, Carrie? No, not at all. Keeps his feet nice and clean, doesn't he? 
Hmm, yes, just as I thought. Telepes aquinas. Malformation requiring you to walk on the outside of the foot. A very interesting example, I must say. Do you mind if I have a look? Congenital club foot. In simple language, a foot twisted inward. The cause of this twisting is not clear. Hereditary inference plays a part here, as pointed out by Dr. Little, who traces recurring deformity through four generations. Well, when you've quite finished. I say, old man, I like that. Mm-hmm. French, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she was a model in Paris. You know, I can't for the life of me understand why you gave up painting. <laughs> I'd rather look at that all day long than at this. <laughs> Woman, you know. You can tell by the uh, pelvis. <laughs> yeah. I like them with a little more... Uh... <laughs> oh, there's life in the old girl yet. Don't inhale, dearie. <laughs> I say, I've got to be getting along. It's a little matter of a barmaid at the Crown and Anchor. And very nice, too. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> Funny fellow, isn't he? Oh. I say, Carrie. It must have been wonderful having that life in Paris. Well, it was. <laughs> and do you mean that you really knew all those fascinating women? Well, some of them. I see you're just the man I'm looking for. I wonder if you couldn't help me. In what way? Well, there's a girl, and I can't get anywhere with her. And you've been to Paris, <laughs> and all that. I'm sure you could say something that would give me a starter. I'd ask Griffiths, only he couldn't do it and remember whom he was doing it for. Oh, but you're just the man. You know, say something to make her laugh. <laughs> what? You don't believe it? You are too suspicious. <laughs> I say, she's marvelous, isn't she? No, she's anemic. I don't suppose she likes that bounder, do you? Of course. Now's your chance. Say something. Well, I see your friend's going. I don't know what you mean. I was referring to the nobleman with the sandy moustache. Has he left you for another? Some people would do better to mind their own business. Why? have a very nice back. Am I on speaking terms with your back? Woman, you know. You can tell by the pelvis. And that calls himself a gentleman. I apologize. What for? I promised you something charming, and she's turned out to be ill-natured and contemptible. I'm sorry I let you in for it. Oh, that's all right. You don't suppose I care what an anemic little waitress says to me, do you? Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> 